what's up you guys welcome back to our channel my name is Marie for those who are new here and today I'm gonna be showing you some of our y'all it's a little all over the place but I guess I'm gonna call it our um, cabinet and freezer staples this is not everything we just kind of re-upped on some of our groceries and a few of you guys asked what are some of our staples so I thought maybe I'll share that with you guys today by the way this is a Whole Foods and Trader Joe's haul this is like primarily where we shop Whole Foods Trader Joe's and Rouse which is probably Kroger's to some people but that is like our primary stores so that is where this stuff is from so first we're gonna start off with these Alexa um, fries. And it's not any particular ones that we get. These are just like some crinkle cuts. The kids love these. We have these and we also have the waffle fries. These are super, super good. So quick, easy, throw on the air fryer and the kids are good to go. Next on the list is these filled roast uh, mini corn dogs. Y'all, these are so bomb. Like when you throw these in the air fryer, they get so crispy on the outside and just, these are good. If you haven't tried these, definitely check them out. Next, we have some chocolate chip waffles. These are so, so good and dangerous. So if y'all try these out, uh, be careful because they are super addicting. They're um, vegan, of course, and gluten-free, but my kids love them. They're easy to pop in. Y'all already know about frozen waffles, but these are super good, and they have different flavors as well. Next is a Odiba goodie. We've been getting these forever. These are the corn pat, the vegan corn patties, and they're the spicy um, chicken patties. Super good, but make sure if you guys do pick these up, you get the vegan kind because the the this brand is not always vegan but the spicy chicken patties are super fire y'all gotta definitely try those next are these are fairly new we kind of like just start getting these but they're so good this is the good pop um it's like it it reminds me of those ice creams we used to eat as a kid when they were like orange and they had like the cream in the middle y'all these are so good they're like coconut based but um, I guess less calories. They're supposed to be a little more healthier for you, more clean ingredients, but they're really, really good. Next are these taquitos. These, are these the, yeah, these are the garlic chicken flavor. So good. Y'all gonna hear me saying so good through this whole video because everything we got, obviously we love, but these are really, really good. Quick pop in the air fryer. Most of these things are super simple for kids, you know, if you're on the go or you send them to somebody's house, these are easy to like pack and pop in the air fryer and you're good to go. So these are really good. And my favorite is the garlic chicken. So this is something new we picked up. I actually haven't tried this yet. I'm not sure if HD tried it, but this is some, it's bulgogi from Sweet Earth and we just wanted to try it out but I'll keep you guys updated and let you know if I like this. If you guys tried this before, let me know in the comments how'd you like it. Another new item for us is this plant-based um, meatless farms, plant-based burgers. These are soy-free, soy gluten-free and 19 grams of protein. This just was like a cleaner option than the other plant-based meats. So we're just like trying these out. So let me know again if you guys tried these as well. So I'm excited to try out these and see how I like them. Cause sometimes um, the other plant-based meats kind of make my stomach hurt. So I'm excited to try those out. So here's another new item that I'm trying out. Well actually, I'm not even gonna lie y'all. <laughs> I didn't already open it and tried it. This is bomb. Like they came out, I love boba first of all. Let me tell y'all what it is. This is black tea and boba um, frozen ice cream. Of course, vegan, and I got it from Trader Joe's. It is so good. They came out with, um, I think like a cold brew coffee flavor, and it was too overpowering, too strong. I didn't like it, but this one is black tea and boba. It's so good. Y'all, this literally tastes like the boba drinks, but they like froze it into ice cream. Super good. If y'all see this, check it out and thank me later. So good. <laughs> 
So next are our staples and this is like, this is my saving grace y'all. I make sure I'm stocked up on this. This is the um, cauliflower rice stir fry that I get from Trader Joe's. It comes with um, green beans, I'm sorry, green peas, red peppers, grilled onions, um, tamari, spring onions, sesame oil, and ginger. And y'all, this tastes like the fried rice stir fry. So good. But it's made with cauliflower and it's only 50 calories. Y'all, this is super good. I like to get this and make like a little stir fry bowl and I'll put like some vegan sausage and like a uh, vegan egg in it and just make my own type of like fried rice. This is a must, super good. So they also have like a um, spicy Mexican rice flavored. Y'all, this one is good as well, but if you do not like spice, stay away from this. It's very spicy. This is HD's favorite. He likes this one more than the other one. But if you do like spice, check this out as well. It gives like that Mexican rice flavor, but less calories, super good. So the next thing is something we're always gonna have in our fridge. It doesn't really matter the brand, but we always have it in our fridge and it's gonna be kimchi. I love kimchi, my kids love it. Super healthy and good for you and it just goes with, for me it goes with everything. A lot of times we just eat it out the jar. It's super good. The mother-in-law's um, kimchi is pretty good, but my favorite one, um, I think they discontinued it, it's the King's brand. Y'all, that was the best kimchi ever, but I cannot find it anywhere. But this one's pretty good as well. Next are my daughter's favorite. These are Alana's favorite yogurts ever from Trader Joe's. And they are the organic creamy cashew yogurts. Um, she always gets the vanilla bean, but they had strawberries, so she wanted to try that out. But she loves these. She eats these every morning for school. So the next thing we got is our Jess egg. I tried to stop buying this y'all, but it is just so good. It's like literally the best vegan egg on the market right now. It's a bit pricey. Sometimes you can find it on sale at different stores, but it's just really, really good. And it's one of my favorites. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, plant-based eggs. So definitely a staple in our house. Next is HD's favorite hot sauce. Y'all, he will buy this hot sauce like every chance he gets. It's his favorite. It's the jalapeno pepper hot sauce from Organic Harvest Foods. It's really good though, y'all. And it's like a really clean hot sauce. So he really likes this a lot. Next is our little snacky foods. Um, if y'all haven't heard about the Trader Joe's like knockoff Takis, <laughs> they're the um, rolled corn tortilla chips chili and lime flavor. These are so good. I used to love Takis, but these are like a little bit more um, lemony than Takis, so that's why I like these better. And they're not as spicy. So, so good. More, It's a little bit more cleaner than Takis too, so I suggest trying these out if you guys are a fan of like hot chips. They're not too spicy, but they're really, really good. Check them out. The next chips that we love are um, from Trader Joe's as well, and these are the porkless plant-based um, snack rinds, and these are really good too. If you guys heard of pig outs, these are like a dupe for them. If you guys heard of pig outs, these are like a dupe for them, and they're really, really good. Um, I actually like these better, so check these out as well. And these are spicy too, so if you don't like spice, you might not like them, but if you do, these are really good. Our next chips, <laughs> y'all already been digged into them, but I had to show y'all cause these are like one of my favorites at Trader Joe's. These are the jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. Y'all, these are so delicious. The um, These remind me of like the puffed, what are they? The puffed Cheetos, but not Cheeto flavor. It's more of like a jalapeno and cheese flavor really really good definitely check these out out of all the chips these are my favorite next on the list are the simple meal um, almond cookies these are super good y'all we get them in two different flavors these are the toasted pecan and then we also get the um, chocolate chip 
so, so good. And the ingredients on these are so, so clean. Uh, they're gluten-free and vegan, of course. <laughs> but these are really, really good. So if you guys see these, check them out and let me know what you think, because they're my favorite and super addicting. Next are my son's favorite um, snack, Darion. He loves these lesser evil popcorn, um, specifically the H Himalayan sweetness. Um, these are like kettle corn and they're really, really good. Again, we try to focus on like more cleaner ingredients for like a lot of our snacks. But yeah, these are really, really good. The sweet kind are our favorite. So next on the list is our Forager uh, Probiotic Cashew Yogurt Milk. My daughter loves these. We got the big one, but they have like little mini ones that she likes to take to school. Well, both my kids like this a lot. They have a few different flavors, but our favorites are the strawberry and the blueberry, and it's super good for you, probiotics. Definitely recommend you check this out. These are really good. Great for in the morning if you don't have time for breakfast. Next we got our, our frozen fruit, and I have a few of them. I have, and these are for my acai bowls, y'all and Babe likes to make his, his smoothies. So we have strawberries, we have mangoes, and we have blueberries. That's exactly what I used to make my acai bowl. Y'all, I used to go and get acai bowls like almost every other day, and they were like $10 each, and I was like, y'all, I gotta cut costs somewhere. So, so y'all, I started playing around making my own at home and I finally perfected a recipe that I truly like and that tastes like, tastes like to me like I'm going out to get the bowl and I'm super happy about that because I'm saving like a lot of money making them at home. Uh, let me show you the acai little packets that I use. These are from Trader Joe's and these are their organic acai puree um, packs. They're unsweetened. I always make sure to get the unsweetened version, but um, yeah, this is good. You just pop it in your blender with whatever fruit you desire, and there you go. You have a delicious acai bowl. If you guys wanna see how I make my bowl and what I like to put on top, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll do that for y'all. Um, but this is what I like to top it with. I already made a bowl, so that's why it's open. But this is the Purely Elizabeth um, Blueberry Hemp Granola. And this is gluten-free. Gluten-free and grain-free granola. And it's my favorite, favorite one. Super good. They have so many different flavors, but the blueberry is my all-time favorite. Another thing I love in my acai bowls is cacao nibs. Y'all, these... I don't know, like, I thought I didn't like them because they're really bitter. Like, they're like the purest of chocolate. So, well, it's not chocolate. They're the purest of like what chocolate is made out of, but it is so bitter. But when you put it in your bowl and eat it, it kind of gives you like that chocolate taste without all the added sugar and everything. So. Definitely recommend this in your acai bowl. Also like to put like shredded coconut and everything. I don't have that right now, but most times I just keep my bowl pretty simple. Um, another thing I use to blend my acai bowls are this coconut water, or I drink this just straight like this. It's super good. The 365 from Whole Foods is my favorite um, coconut water. It's just, I don't know, it just tastes better. It's really good. Whenever I'm blending up a smoothie or acai bowl, whatever I'm blending up, I always like to find a way to get some kind of greens in. And this is my favorite way to get it in. And this is the super greens. It comes with a few different greens. It comes with baby spinach, green and red Swiss chard, top sole, I don't know what that is, arugula and spinach. And I just feel good that I can get my greens in. So this is like a pro tip. Whenever you're making a smoothie, just throw your greens in there. And that way it's like eating a salad, but you don't even have to taste it. Okay, I think that's it. All right, guys, so that is it. If you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, turn on your post notification bells. That way you know whenever we're posting a new video. And let me know if you guys try any of these products, if any of these are your staples and favorites. Leave it down below. But that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.